Welcome to this video. Today we will be testing Malwarebytes Anti-Malware Premium to see how well it does as far as protecting our computer with real-time protection turned on. Now I do have a folder here with some samples of malware, 20 in total, so keep that number in mind. And so we will be testing it against these 20 samples. Just a brief overview of the procedure. What I'm going to do is enable and turn on uh, malware bytes to see if it detects anything off the bat after which we will run a system scan to see what it detects next we will then scan the samples folder directly and last if there's anything left we will execute those remaining samples to see if malware bytes can successfully stop them also please be aware that windows 10 and malware bytes are both up to date all right i let it sit here for just a moment so far it has not detected anything so we're going to go ahead and start a scan all right, it looks like the scan has completed and it looks like multiple results were detected. And so we're going to go ahead and just quarantine these. And then we're going to go ahead and restart the computer. All right, the computer has finished restarting and let's check our samples folder. And I'm gonna guess it removed everything and it looks like yes, it did. So we had 100% detection with the system scan, which is good, that's what you want. You want your security software to be able to detect these threats before execution if possible. So it looks like in this situation, Malwarebytes did a very, very good job. Now, does this mean that Malwarebytes Anti-Malware is the best antivirus or anti-malware program available? No, it doesn't. It just means in this specific test, it did perfect. But you have to understand that there are many different types of malware tests made different types of malware and malware samples so you do want to look at multiple different kinds of tests to get a full idea a full range of how good a software program truly is but again in this specific test malware bytes did perfect now if you've seen my previous antivirus or anti-malware reviews you know that i often run second opinion scans but in this situation there's no point in doing that because we never got to the execution step because everything was detected before that step that's everything for this video if you have any comments please post them down below thank you very much for watching i hope you have a great day if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you found it helpful please go ahead and consider sharing it and please also consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell icon to get notifications on future videos